Welcome to These Are the Blades of Our Lives, the skating show where I talk to you about skating like it is drama for your mama. On today's episode, can Empress Elisabetta Tutamisheva make it to the 2022 Olympics? Probably not. In this instant, what I want to happen and what is likely going to happen do not match. For sentimental reasons, I would love to see Elizabeth Tutemisheva make the, Rus- the Russian ladies' Olympic team. However, for that to happen, Elizabeth would have to overcome the six pillars of Iteri Tuberetsi. By the six pillars, I mean Alexandra Quad Queen Trusova, Aliona, I was born to be a diva, Kostanaya, Anna, the beloved child, Sherbakova. Daria, please don't forget about me, Yusa Shava. Maya, yes, I have quads, crummage, and Camilla, endless flexible leg kicks, Valieva. While Elisabetta may be able to take out two of the six pillars, beating four, which is what she needs for an Olympic berth, seems to be an insurmountable task. I think a two- Triple Axel clean program Elisabetta could probably take out Daria. And a three triple axel one in combination clean program with performance Elisabetta could take out a clean Maya. However, not even a three triple axel plus a quad toe clean Elisabetta can take out the other four if they perform. Even if I buy all the candles at my local Dollar Tree, I honestly don't think it'll be enough to accomplish this goal. At best, I can light Elizabeth's way to a 45% chance of making the team. However, in sports, there are no guarantee. And I really believe that Elizabeth making the team would be great for women figure skating. This would be a chance to change the current narrative that women skaters have an expiration date, that by 18, you're out. For Tutta Misheva to make the 2022 Olympic as a skater, as a woman skater coming from Russia, this would have an even greater impact. Who knows, instead of retiring, maybe the generation of AAA would decide to continue. And the newer generation wouldn't have to feel so desperate. After all, the the way things are going, I feel like these young girls are becoming more and more disposable. And we really need to look into this and start changing this. As for Tutamisheva, the figure skating community has watched her grow up. We've witnessed her ups, downs, comeback, and as a result, we are invested in her journey and we want to see her have her happy ending. While I believe Tatamisheva's chances at making it to Beijing is slim, I'm still prepared to light some candles and hope because we, we need a woman to go to the Olympic and put it down. However, if God forbid Tutamisheva doesn't make the team, I hope China One hires her to be a special commentator, the same way the, um, the U.S. did with Laurie Hernandez. However, it turns out, I am here to say, Empress Tutamisheva fighting! We are with you. How about you? Do you think the Empress can make a royal comeback? Let me know in the comments below.